the immensity of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban that what Allah has given to Fardul Alam, Fardul Arsh, Shahi Qul is that 7,007 awliya will always be upon this earth that represent Mawlana Shah Naqshaban with the Sallallahu Siru. That at any time 124,000 awliyaullah are upon this earth. Awliya and tariqa are different, don't mix them. Other people making ridiculous claims and the tariqa are schools that condition people to be recruited into Divinely service and from ancient realities Allah addresses their souls, puts them into tariqahs for finishing schools, for manners, adabs and for training. But the hukum and the government of Sayyidina Muhammad consists of 124,000 only Allah. Out of the 124,000, 7,007 are directly under the command of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban but the Sallallahu of Siru and they represent the 7,007, they represent the realities of Allah, Alif, Lam, Lam, Hay and guidance. That through the seven essences of Allah's Divinely face. So if you write on your paper seven and then we don't have zero, so we have nukht, nukht and seven. The, the seven to the farthest right, it represents the Divinely Presence of Izzatullah, so Alif. The nukht, nukht, lam, lam and the seven closest for our journey which we always start from, we write from the right to the left, we start at the left going in towards the reality. So you have al, al, alif, lam, lam, hay and seven, nuq, nuq, seven. This reality of 7007 are directly under the command of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban what the Sallallahu Alaihi at any given time upon this earth and his specialty to the to the dress of them is that to achieve that they… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. They reach to the seven of Izzatullah and these are the seven holy openings of the face of Allah's Divinely face in which they feed you for the sake of this face. They ask nothing of you except to they feed you for the sake of the holy face. This category Allah describes of those servants who feed for the holy face, these are the 7,007 Naqshbandi awliya out of the 124,000. The nuqt is that Allah doesn't care for heavens or for earth, that this is all a part of creation. What He wants to dress them is then the seven of hidayat, that they have to use their heart to open up the realities of the lataifs of their heart, the reality of that seven so that they can traverse to be nothing in dunya and they ask nothing from akhirah and all that they ask is, Wajikil Kareem that, Ya Rabbi we want nothing from this earth and we're not asking anything from a paradise station 
because everything will be collapsing when Allah's judgment comes, He collapses dunya and heavens except the holy face. Everything will perish except the holy face. And when Allah describes that in Surat Yaseen at the end of uh, we recite, it's not in Surat Yaseen, we recite at Fajr time at the end of Surat Yaseen, Kulli halikum halikum illa wajah that everything shall perish but the holy face and that this is from the realities of the paradise realities and the realities of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad that they ask nothing from dunya, nothing from akhirah, means they're not asking for stations and fame from dunya and they're not asking from the stations and fames of paradise and and lofty mansions and whatever paradise people want to imagine is that Allah from this category of awliyaullah put into their hearts to want nothing from it and Allah's bounty will dress them and bless them and that they take the path of the seven to open up the reality of seven, the seven paradises, seven lataif of their heart and the reality of their heart so that their heart opens their soul opens and that their face can emulate and copy the realities of the seven holy essences dressing the Divinely face that Allah's Divinely face is dressing the Divinely face of Sayyidina Muhammad And our life is to achieve that reality, to take into the realities of the heart, the realities of hajj, the realities of traversing the heart and this is all through the muraqabah and meditation. That what they gave to us of this curriculum is for the shaqiyoon so that they come and that they learn how to connect. Only through connection there is nobody who can do it by reading. This is maybe the exception if Allah gives to them but the rule in the this way of ishraqiyoon and this way of reality is that they have to learn how to make their madad, their connection, how to open the reality of the heart through good manners and through good character. As a result of that they begin through their muraqabah the understanding of their lataif because only through that muraqabah then the shaykhs begin to send the reflection into their heart. As they traverse into the realities of their heart and opening the lataif and the subtle energies of their heart, immediately Allah take them through the nukht of dunya means they will be effaced in dunya. That's why then difficulty and immense amounts of testing and that to take them into the haqqaiqs of paradise. Anyone who achieves the nukht of dunya means a mawt qabl al mawt then Allah take them to the reality of their nukht in paradise means that they don't care for anything in paradise and that they want to enter into the presence of Wajik al Kareem, the Divinely face, the dressings, the face of Sayyidina Muhammad and these are Allah's Divinely attributes that He dresses their face from these Divinely attributes. And these Divinely attributes begin now to reflect upon that servant. So then this 7007 they carry the face of Wajik al Kareem upon this earth and as a result these lights and these blessings flow upon the earth. Through these seven essences, these essences then dress what Allah want to dress. So they are reflecting the face from the Divine upon the face of their physicality. And we describe these attributes, you can go to the website to read them and study the, the attributes. And these are essences that through nur hai, an example through their right eye is a, a nur from Sifat of rahman and from their left eye is the hayat, oceans of al-hayat. And we even describe that it even comes from Imam al-Hasan wa Imam al-Husayn Qurat al-Ain, the beloved eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad I mean the in-depth of its reality just keeps going deeper and deeper. 
But from Nur al Hai, the servants who carry the Divinely face upon this earth that from their right eye is a continuous light that dresses humanity and anyone deficient in that light their eye will dress them. That's why they try to guard their vision and keep their nazar bar qadam. The left eye of their reality is oceans of al hayat. Anyone whom is deficient in the essential element of al hayat means from the oceans of high the eternal and the ever living those whom are deficient in their eternity reality their eyes will dress that servant from that reality so means that lisan al qadir their alim al qadir allah dresses because the divinely face the tongue of Sayyidina Muhammad is al-alim, the knowledges, al-alim. That if they inherit from that Divinely tongue from Prophet space, dresses their tongue with an ancient sifat al-alim in which the knowledges begin to flow and they inherit what Allah described, lisan al-siddiq al-aliyya. The Siddiq Most High, they inherit that tongue of reality's alim and through their breath of their nostrils is Qadr, that they breathe through the oceans of Divine the fire and power. Through these elements that Allah in essence is that Allah dress the holy face and as a result they inherit from the Divinely face, the, the beatific face of Sayyidina Muhammad and this is one of the specialties of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban's reality upon awliyaullah. And from these 7,007 awliya that represent this Divinely face upon the earth, He will bestow upon them anywhere from 1 to 12,000 oceans of reality and Divinely knowledges. And in the time of Imam Mahdi Salam, these Divinely oceans and knowledges become fountains of overflowing ecstasy that you sit for, for one minute you'll be taught, next minute new knowledge is coming, new knowledge is coming, all paradise realities and above paradise realities because these knowledges are, are above the reality of paradise. These are from the Divinely face of Sayyidina Muhammad and the inheriting face of Allah's Divinely face that can never be seen and only seen by Sayyidina Muhammad Where Prophet Allah dress us and bless us from these blessings and then make us to inherit from these realities, to take the way of tafakkur and contemplation and then to study the way of the lataif, study the way of the muraqabah how to ignite the way of energies and qudra so that to achieve all of this and to understand what the reality of hajj is which is the reality of La ilaha illallah and what is the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah that is the reality of Lam Alif and the Siddhat al Lam Jalala and the reality of all power based on this Lam Alif and the Zulfiqar that it represents. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين بحرمة محمد المصطفى بسر سورة الفاتحة آمين Inshallah drink your Zamzam water tonight and to be blessed and bi haqq bi hadi shanash bi Muhammad wa Siyad Bukhari. Ya Aziz wa Ya Razaq, Ya Sifat al-Aziz that nothing can stop what is meant to come for you by Sifat al-Aziz, Ya Aziz wa Ya Razaq and that Razaq and the sustenance for the soul and for the body to be be given by the immense barakah and blessings of Mawlana Shah Naqshban, bi haqqa bahuddin Shah Naqshban Muhammad wa Siyad Bukhari over what you eat and drink and drink of the Zamzam waters that Allah make those the waters of knowledges and realities and the waters of health and, and goodness for this dunya and for akhirah inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi Siri Surat al-Fatiha. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.